the animation is sad sonic sonic moonwalking just for fun i needed to make a song for it so here is that in the breakdown for the music i remember waking up that day i just had to start with playing guitar because i was in the mood that's my passion you know since i was a kid playing guitar so here are the guitar sounds some basic guitar chords in like this arp thing i'm doing with one of the strings that i had to lay on it's like a little rift um, using Chris Lord CLA guitar airwaves template to give that airy sound. Also fab filter to boost up some of those mids in the guitar to make it sound just ripe. We got the Jupiter 8 in here from Artoria Collection. I have their whole piano collection. It's amazing. The Jupiter 8 is phenomenal. I use this all the time for pads a lot of the time and just specific key sound. And then I boosted the lows up with fab filter and you know had a little bit of kickstart in there to kind of like give it a rhythm vibe so if you see there's actually two of the same exact pad for this you know jupiter 8 and one of them is just straight on bass sounds and the other one is like a heartbeat bass sound using that kickstart too by romero to really punch it up and give like forwardness to the song movement i like my songs to have movement to like push it forward so coming up next is Massive. Yo, I love Massive. It's kind of like Serum if you use Serum, except it's just got different things going on. There's a lot of templates and presets you can get for Massive online too that aren't always available for Serum. And I believe Massive came first. So like, I've just always been using it. It's one of the first few like plugins I actually used for keys. I can literally spend hours playing around with Massive and just like the different sounds that are in there and like adjusting the low sounds. And what I love about this specifically is that there's this violin sound that I was looking for because I used to have Omnisphere. I still kind of have it, but like it, it, there's some live instrument sounds that you want when you're producing. And it just so happened I opened up Massive and it has this violin-y sound and I'm like, oh my God, I've been looking for that for so long. Like live instrumentation through these like plugins. That's the key. That's like what I love. Um, ooh, both together. It's a key, you know, mm, wow, beautiful. Lunar Park for the preset with Massive, Fab Filter, you know, this little arpy sound, it's just fun. It gives movement to the song, and it's also kind of sad. The song is called Sad Sonic for a reason. When I was making the song, I really want to focus on like this lower energy, this lower frequency vibration that like arrives when you have a sad feeling or you're feeling emotional. So I was just trying to key in on that. <laughs> And as you can see, these are the vocal chops. Don't be sad. <laughs> Don't be sad. I actually edited it quite a bit and then I had to freeze it, stem it out, and uh, have this version and so that it would be a clean take because we had a lot of frequency issues. But this is what it is now. I added on top of all those editings before where I would stretch it out, speed it up, chop it up, add a decapitator, added fab filter to what it is now. And I love it. I think it's a great vocal chop. Once again, available in the sample Gumroad shop of mine. If you guys want these, these sample pack with vocals, drums, guitar, all of that jazz, I have it. I have a free version on the website and I also have pay for version per song. So each of these songs and visual animations I'm making has a sample pack that you can get on my website. So please check that out. Hopefully you guys play around with it and you can show me. Join the Discord. We have a T-Dragon HQ Discord where people are sharing things they make. It's a cool community. Come join us. You know, we do giveaways. I remember this long song because I had a freeze and stem it. It was a Jupiter 8 preset. It was like a pad sound. And it, I kept getting this weird frequency issue. So I decided to just, you know, stem it out take those things out and obviously i think i had the plug in fat filter and a compre basic compressor on there to give it the nice resonance so it's just like a mm. it's just a cute little ending sound to kind of like resolve whatever emotional turmoil that happened throughout throughout the song it's like a quiet ending and of course we have the drums once again splice saving the day you know a lot of the times i'll be adding my own drums and i can make great core and jungle drums myself i remember i was like making like song after song after song like when i make songs i make batches and like i'm just like creating a song like every day and it's just like a passion project and i just gotta get it done and whatever flies on the wall sticks on the wall so 
it, I just fell in love with these drum patterns and what it sounded like. And I, you know, sometimes enough is enough. You know, as you can tell, I'm combining kicks with other kicks and snares with other snares to kind of give it more energy. And I'm still keeping them in there. I'm just slightly EQing it with that filter and the compressor to make it all mesh together well. Here's what it sounds like all together. If you like the animation too, I made it in Blender 3D stuff, you know, and Unreal Engine actually as well. That was a lot of work. UE5 is a monster, but I had a lot of fun with it. Remember, please, you know, we got Patreon if you want some of the project files that will be released on there. We have an amazing community on T-Dragon HQ, the Discord channel where we're doing like monthly little fun get together as you guys share your art we make we'll make like a video on the channel of a cumulative of things you guys share maybe yo shout out to my boy cody vondell for helping me just throughout this journey and being a boy that's it i think thin dragon signing out stop hate make love <laughs>